Guys, what is the crack? Guys and gals, good morning. Bitcoin Ireland Conference 2023. LFG, let's go. Just pulling out, heading over to the hotel now. 6 a.m. Uh, just before, and uh, we're going to test the sound. I want to talk to you a little bit this morning about proof of stake versus proof of work and how this applies to real life. So. If you're starting your journey about learning about Bitcoin, or even if you're deep in your journey, you've probably heard the terms proof of work and proof of stake. But uh, this is applicable to real life and it's applicable to what's happening today. Okay, we've no early birds on yet, because we're all asleep, so I'm just talking to myself at the moment, we'll see if a couple of people might join the live. Okay, there's an emergency alarm going off, as if we needed that. Fecking up since quarter past one this morning, lads, too excited to sleep. Um, so when I talk about the learning experience okay we I'll start here there's two there's two worlds that we can live in okay or there's, there's two worlds that we live in there's reality okay which is the physical world okay Newtonian physics and then we as humans we invented a digital world okay now the problem that I see with society and with people in general is they don't understand that the digital world that we created doesn't involve proof of work, okay? And it causes a lot of problems, and it's gonna cause a lot of problems as we continue, okay? And I'm not gonna focus on the problems, but I'm gonna focus on the benefits of this proof of work reality, which is base reality as, as, as we think it is, okay? So today is the Bitcoin Ireland conference. It, ev not everyone can physically attend in real life, okay? And, and that's fine, however, if you have the opportunity to physically attend versus digitally attend something, it's a very different user experience. So for me, I've spent, Jesus, probably 20 years now doing internships, apprenticeships, workshops, seminars, um, and traveled all over the world to be there in person. And the reason for that is there's a real world cost to it. When there's a real world cost to anything, okay, it means you have accountability, um, you have com you have tighter community, okay, and you have something that will take your attention better than digital. And I'll give you an example of this, okay. And this is something that you know, me being someone who creates content or a mover and a shaker, or just someone who's out there, you receive a lot of criticism in both worlds. But ninety nine point nine percent of the criticism I receive is through the digital world. You see, through the digital world, there's no consequence. Someone can put a nasty comment on one of my posts, all right, and there's no real world con consequence to that. Whereas in reality, they couldn't come up to me and say that. They might, you know, most people would be afraid to say what they say in comments. And this is the difference between proof of stake, where does, and, and, and this is how most crypto platforms work, okay, where there's no real world consequence. They're not connected to the real world, it's just pure digital fancy land, okay, where you've, you're disconnected from reality, versus in real life, if someone's come up and say, you know, a nasty thing like people put in comments, there's a real world cost to it, they might be worried it might box them in the nose, okay, <laughs> alright, or, or, or I can have an altercation with them, okay, and this is how the world works, this is how, this is where, you know, and I don't want to go too much into the, into wokeism and all that, but that's crept in and that's arguing with reality, okay, because how our universe works since it's evolved has been a proof of power or a proof of work system, okay, and what that means is it, it's, it's how you settle who owns what and who's able to do what is that you should be led by the strongest leader. Weak people shouldn't lead because, you know, they'll be like, all right, we have our little tribe, let's all, let's not have an army, let's not defend ourselves. Well, guess what happens then? Another army takes you over and busts your ass. And this happens in nature. Like nature is the most brutal, violent, uh, crazy thing. Okay, and we as humans we label that as bad or like violence is evil. You know, but we just don't understand the concept of how the universe evolves. Okay, we as humans have scaled our intelligence to a degree that we think um, that that you know we have morals. But morals is a made-up construct. The universe doesn't have morals. The way the universe works, there's no morals that stars get engulfed by black holes. There's no moral morals that animals eat animals and, and annihilate them, okay? 
there's no moral that, you know, when a female uh, spider and a male spider mate, that the female then eats the male. That's just how the universe has chosen to survive. And everything that we see in nature has proven itself, um, has proven itself to be fit for purpose. That's why we see it, okay? If it wasn't fit for purpose, it would be extinct, like all of the hundreds of thousands of things that have came and gone, and just wasn't fit for purpose. So uh, it became extinct that we no longer see them, we no longer talk about them. Anything that we talk about, um, and, and reading the book Soft War has, has, has sort of helped me frame a lot of this stuff for, by Jason Lowry. But like the reason we don't eat lions is because they're so ferocious and vicious. The reason we eat cows is because we're able to, because we're able to crossbreed them, okay, and get this big docile fat animal that can't defend itself and we're able to coerce them and keep them in pens and we get to eat them and that's why we, we know what steak tastes like and we don't know what lion tastes like because lion, lions have such a, lions have, have, are able to project their power or there's such a physical cost to try, and, to try and take a lion down. It's easier just to take a cow down. So we'll eat cow and we don't eat lion, okay? Because there's a real world uh, physical cost to trying to capture a lion or kill a lion. Now, as humanity has scaled, we have the technology now, we can project more power rather than using a spear or our fists, you know, you can use a gun, okay, where you can, you can project like 5,000 horsepower for a millisecond by shooting something with a gun, okay, but humans have morals, but morals are a made up construct, like we have law, and law is a made up construct, that doesn't, that doesn't agree with the laws of the universe, okay, just like what, you know, and, and we can argue this, like being able to project power or, or having a real world physical cost to your actions, this is base reality, and this is a trustless system. You don't need to trust law that the law will be upheld, okay? Think of what's happening in Ukraine right now. You know, technically it's against the law. Did that stop Vladimir from doing what he's doing? No, because a power projection system is above the law, okay? It's beyond law, and it's just a base reality of the universe. Where I'm going with this is, when it comes to learning, learning in real life, because we have, as I said in the very beginning of this video, we have two worlds. We have the digital world, where we spend a lot of our time, but it's not reality, guys, okay? Everything that we see on social media is not reality. Everything that you see about my life on social media is not my reality at all, okay? You know, a lot of it is, but it's, it's not wholly my reality. I am not always super happy. I'm not always super positive, and life isn't always super kind to me. Life can be brutal to me, and I go through hard times, but I just choose not to broadcast that on social media because as I was coaching uh, and a younger entrepreneur trying to teach him about this and teach him about so social media and building brands, uh, it, it, it's media, okay? It's not reality, okay? And, and therefore we shouldn't treat it as it. You know, all the Instagram people that we follow and influencers, that is not their base reality, okay? You need to understand that. And there's no real world physical cost to them portraying it as, as our reality. So everything we see in media is not reality because there's no physical cost to it, okay? Whereas everything that I do in real life, there is a physical cost. I have to, if I'm talking the talk, I have to walk the walk in reality. I'm gonna be called out. If I'm pretending I'm a super rich person and then someone, you know, sees me and I'm, 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 I'm you know, I'm living in my parents, I'm driving a banger, I just had rented a lovely car to do a video or something, you know, it's just real world cost. I was like, you're full of shit, I can see you're full of shit, okay? But in real, in in the digital world, you know, it, it's much more difficult, okay? My point of all this ranting, and hit the like button if you like these sort of abstract videos, um, but my point in this is, if you can learn, okay, if you want to experience anything, try and experience in physical reality, okay, rather than digital. From all the workshops and internships I've been to, and all the digital courses I've bought, the most value you get is if you can show up in person. Because us humans, you know, as we are at the moment, before we we <laughs> we have the singularity and we merge with machine, at the moment, humans do better in the physical world than we do in the digital world. Humans learn better in the physical world. So, if you can understand that and use that to your advantage, yes, it's a pain in the ass to do some stuff in the physical world. Like, you know, I'm driving an hour now to the hotel. Uh, we could have just done this conference um, on Zoom. It would have been a hell of a lot cheaper. We wouldn't have had to fork out the thousands that it's costing us to put the show on the road, okay? But we know that we're able to put on a much better show and people are going to get much better value for it by showing up in the real world because this is where there's a physical cost. The cost is that it's going to have your attention. The cost
Masters that uh, you probably have to pay for this to go to it. You know, and I'm, when I mean pay, I don't just mean pay with your money. I mean, you know, pay with your time. You take time out of your day to go and get there. But because us as humans work better in the real world. Oh, hold on here. I'm going here and grab coffee. Get no cappuccino. Why not? <laughs> I am early. But there's a real world cost for us. So we get more out of it. We learn more. Okay, we get more value from the event. And that's why over my lifetime as an entrepreneur, you know, I've paid six figures now uh, for my training to go and train with real world coaches, to go and meet them in person, to go to their workshops because you just get more out of it. There's a real world physical cost. Guys, I know that was very abstract. Looking forward to seeing everyone. I have so many alarms going off here. I was afraid I'd gone to sleep it out. That's the fourth one. Uh, hope to see us all here if you can come here and if you can come here definitely consider when you're trying to learn about something do it in real life if you're trying to change your life don't do an online fitness program it's a piece of shit compared to doing a real life program showing up and operating with a good trainer and having that mental connection between people and building that in-person community because as it is humans we live in this world reality i know you're looking at me through a fake world it's the online world but you need to look away from the screen okay and look with your eyes this screen here to your eyeballs this is reality this is where we do best try and spend as much as your time there and you will dominate this world if you want to dominate the virtual world okay looking forward to seeing everyone at the event today it's not too late grab a ticket on eventbrite we'll see you out there we've nine events today so it's going to be a packed day Look forward to getting my mind blown from all the presentations and uh, I'm talking Bitcoin and Bitcoin pensions. Have a super day guys, hit the like button, throw a comment in if you like this stuff and if you want us to try and stream the event live, let me know in the comments and we'll do our best. Dinio.